Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And there's Kara. And this is John. And this is Dick. And we're here in the Manistee National Forest, uh, New Year's Day, 2019. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cheers. Oh, this is our squirrel camp, uh, and we're eating breakfast. This morning we got a nice percolated cup of joe. Got some hard-boiled eggs, some uh, nicely toasted bread, a baguette, as you might say, and just this glorious bacon and steak medley just been cooking in its own juices for I don't even know how long. Hashtag Steaks of Diego. Hashtag Steaks of Diego. Best steaks you can get. We had some steaks last night from Diego. They were ridiculously big, so we saved two of them for breakfast. Here, I got the bones. So, we're just going to hang out. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, hope you enjoy the adventure. A hunter solstice home away from home where a man and his dog can go for freedom. Good day, fine hunter. Good day. We're out here in the Manistee National Forest, Squirrel Camp 2019. Woo! Woo! Those who haven't been following along, this is Fort Green Bear. John's giant tent. Put a wood stove in it, chop up some wood, and we're good to go. It's uh, 20 degrees, Give snowing, but it's a beautiful snow. It's nice to be out here. Oh, Got yeah. the dog. Kara, come on. Uh, yeah. Fixing to be a good trip. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go dig us a poop hole. Sounds good. We're going to split some more wood. So someone who camps here regularly, I guess, built this nice poop hole box but then didn't dig a hole under it so we're gonna dig a hole so that there's somewhere to poop here good to go oh the fire's definitely burning good now So what are we hunting out here, Dick? Squirrels. Squirrels. Small game. Maybe a raccoon. Hopefully not any porcupine. They got their taste for porcupines last year. The only thing we're out here to kill is beers. Dang, that one was hard. <laughs> That one? Yeah, I did. I'm glad I didn't hit. I'm glad I didn't hit that one. You just bounced. Doop. That one looked good though. Mr. Michigan Adventure Life himself. Oh, we got wood, ladies and gentlemen. It's the stuff we just split. Your mother could split wood. Your mother could split wood. Stove's rocking. Thermometer says it's 75, and we've got the door open. Stick tip. Make sure you got proper form when splitting wood or else you could damage the handle. You don't say. You could. Could. Not that we would. Not, Not that perfect. we would. But everything we did. Oh, we just had a little lunch. It was good lunch. Dick did lunches. I did breakfast. John's responsible for all those meats and stuff. Meat. The lunch was good. We had, uh, what, potato salad, chicken salad, and pitas. Toasted penis? Yep. Cheese. What kind of cheese was that? Provolone. Provolone. Everyone likes provolone. Who don't like provolone? Everybody likes provolone. Everybody loves provolone. We're just relaxing, drinking some beers, hanging out. Gonna do a little bit of work later, get some more things done. We're not hunting today, though. Like, today is just a hangout day. That's the best prep. part. 
Yeah, that's the best part of squirrel camp, hanging out. So all the steaks we use for Fort Green Bear are these big rebar steaks. And some of the sides are flip flapping in the wind, so before it gets too dark, we're uh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna stake a couple of the sides down better so they don't flop around. It's a little hard to get through that top layer of ice, but it's not too bad going from there. It's mostly sand around here. What are you doing, Dick? Uh, just shoveling some snow along the bottom edge of the of the tent, kind of keep the wind from drafting in. Uh, it's working out very well. It's actually covering up the whole gap there, all the way up to here, even in the corners. Dick tip: If you're gonna be shoveling snow, if you don't have a snow shovel. A transfer shovel works almost as well. It's been snowing pretty much since we got up. I'm gonna go ahead and check the snow depth on the hood of my car here, and we're just going in and oh, we're up to the first knuckle, second knuckle. It's about two inches, maybe two and a half. It's not too bad. It's a very relaxing look. I'm very relaxed. We've all got a very relaxing look going on today. It's been a real easy going camping day. That's really the best part of squirrel camp is that it's easy going. Uh, we don't really do much. We don't hunt much more than we want to. Like we didn't hunt at all today. We chopped wood and dug a latrine and we're probably just gonna, you know, hunt around a little bit tomorrow, let Kara sniff around and see if she picks up any squirrels or rabbits or whatever. It's a lot less goal oriented, more about just winding down hunting season for the year, relaxing, getting back into just regular camping. Food, beers, all that good stuff. Stove's really working great. It's a, it's a pretty fantastic setup we got. Dick tip. The only thing you want to kill at squirrel camp is beers. And maybe squirrels. And maybe squirrels. Right now I'm using John's, what, carpenter axe, right? Yep. I'm just shaving off little pieces of wood, so uh, it's very easy to restart the fire after the fact that it goes out. If we uh, don't get up at night to uh, keep the fire going, a good uh, good rule of thumb: keep it out of the way. Dick tip: if you're getting up, take a piss, feed the stove. That's pretty much where Kara's been since after we came in for lunch, just sitting there on the bed. Taking some snoozes. I got a new Hudson Bay axe, and uh, there was a little bit of wax on the head, and it didn't actually come sharp, so I had to uh, just sharpen it up, taking some of the wax off. People have asked us how hot we can actually get it with the wood stove, and, and there you go, we're hitting 100. It's probably 20 degrees out. Warm enough for Kara, that's for sure. Dick tip, if you're going to be using a Dutch oven, make sure to bring lots of butter or lard. Oh, lard. Mm. Lard is the preferred. Just put some sockeye salmon in the Dutch oven and the bacon and steak juices from earlier. It looks glorious. How's it taste, John? Tastes delicious. Mm. Some good salmon. Why don't I get salmon? I want some salmon. Why don't I get salmon? Kara might get a little salmon. So we're just enjoying dinner, and then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna hit the sack. We've been pretty tired, so you know, maybe we'll get some get some squirrels tomorrow. Hopefully, make squirrel stew. Night, guys. Night night good morning good morning good morning we just woke up and stoked the fire had ourselves a little breakfast getting ready to uh 
load up and go out hunting. I'm gonna try to get some squirrels and rabbits and uh... That's all that's legal right now pretty much is squirrels and rabbits, but we're gonna go try and get it done. Kara's excited! Right? Aren't you excited? Got a squirrel dog. Got a squirrel! Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! See you on the trail! Dick tip. Always remember your gun. <laughs> this is Kara's first year squirrel hunting. But you know, everyone's gotta start somewhere. Oh, look at you guys. It's super nice out, it's uh, not too chilly. No, it's damn near balmy almost. No squirrels yet. Not yet, but we're hopeful. Uh, very hopeful. Kara likes the smells, don't you Kara? Yes, I like the smells. Taking a little break. Seeing a lot of actually, there's actually a lot of squirrel and rabbit tracks, uh, but like most of our other hunts, no squirrel or rabbits. Kara's hot on the trail of them. And you know whatever else she smells? She smells lots. Seen a couple squirrel's nests. Yeah, I've uh, seen some squirrel's nests. But non-occupied. We're gonna drink some water and then uh, continue Keep. the hunt. Kara keeps hunting smells. Uh, we went uh, a little further down the road. Uh, we're taking our second break of the day, probably a little before we head back in. Uh, we got a squirrel's nest right over there, and one not too far over here. So we're gonna hang out here, and we can see where they've been actually digging up all the nuts underneath the tree that they hid, or buried. So we're gonna hang out here and see if we can catch a squirrel coming by. Carol likes to start with that. Find ourselves a fat squirrel or a big old bunny rabbit. Tick tip, don't piss in the wind. Ate some lunch back at camp. Was it tuna melts? It was Courtesy tuna melts. Courtesy Dick, they were pretty delicious. Excellent. Just made some coffee, drinking some coffee. Gonna have some coffee and dessert. What's our dessert? Apple strudel. Apple strudel, ah, we're gonna do some, some coffee strudel. and strudel. Kara's already snoozing. Probably gonna take a nap after that and then chop some wood and get ready for tonight. It's delicious. Oh yeah, you loving your strudels? The strudel. Apple strudel. Huh? Are there any dick tips about strudel? Dick tip. Get your apple strudel from the discount rack at your local bakery. Always shop local. We've been having a good time so far. School camp isn't really about, you know, the, the killing so much as the walking around in the woods and especially here getting care out for her first time, you know, overnight in the woods. Hanging out, having a good time. And we've been really good at that, so success. All right. Successful trip. Successful naps were had by all. Uh, I'm going to start prepping some dinner. What are we having for dinner? Pasties. Ah, pasties, the traditional hunt cob food. Uncle Peter. Pete. Uncle Peter's. Right. We're on a first name basis, so we call him Uncle Pete. Fire stoked. We're just gonna put some pasties in the old Dutch oven with some tinfoil and butter. Uh, and uh, probably gonna chop some wood, eh? Yeah, we, uh, we need to uh, get a little more wood processed. That's all we have left in the wood cart. It's not very much. It used to be full, and now it's down to that last little cheaper. bit. When you take a late afternoon nap, it means you're chopping wood in the dark. Luckily, John's a pro. So this truck bed was completely filled with wood. We're down to a partial layer just on the bottom now because we burn a lot to keep that tent going. Sam's uh, sending you dick tips now? Yeah, I'm getting, I just got a really good dick tip from Sam. Dick tip. Don't abandon your wife. It's a pretty good dick tip. Miss you, Sam. Miss you. Love you. So we just uh, put the pasties in this Dutch oven and been cooking them for an hour or so. And we're just going to kind of open them up and see how they look. And start warming up the gravy probably in a pot. Oh, they look delightful. We just put a stick of butter in the bottom of that, tin foil, so we didn't worry about a mess that they fell apart. 
but they look delightful. Oh, yeah. All of our Look at that. Yeah. Now that's how we do elk pasties at squirrel camp. How do you like them pasties, Dick? They were delicious. And we had this nice tossed salad. John, where did you get it? Got it from Costco. He gets everything from Costco. It's been a good end of our day. Good day as a whole out here. It's nice to be out in the field with my dog. Uh, running her around. We don't actually expect her to find any squirrels. She really loves following deer tracks though. Which would be helpful if you were allowed to use a dog to hunt deer. Which you're not. we been eating like kings. Really rich kings. We had pre-made pasties by Uncle Peter. Yes. Hashtag Uncle Peter's pasties. <laughs> Hashtag Uncle Peter's pasties. Had some delicious sandwiches. We had some good breakfasts. Yeah, we've been eating really good. Uh, I'll, I'll start with the steaks. Let's be right. honest. It usually does. Yeah, steaks are a great way to start it. Steaks are a great way to start it. As is tradition. As is tradition. Probably just gonna, you know, hang out for a minute, listen to some music, get ready for bed. Uh, yeah. Gonna be, uh, relaxing a little bit. Hanging out. Dick tip. We could try again. Dick tip. Always line your Dutch oven with tin foil for easy cleanup and non-stick ability.